Just off the BW Parkway, researchers have spent the past 50 years on a rescue mission. This year, it all comes to an end. Alex Dimitrik has more. Their call gives them their name. The whooping crane nearly fell silent. Standing five feet tall, the largest land bird in North America also had the most sought after feathers for hats. Indiscriminate overhunting back in the early 1900s and, uh, and loss of habitat, and, uh, habitat fragmentation and development of wetlands. Behind fences and acres of open space, the Patuxent Wildlife Research Center has spent half a century to bring back whooping cranes from one tiny flock. All whooping cranes that are alive today derive from that from one flock of 16 in 1942, which is vanishingly small, like almost extinct. Now there may be as many as 700 in the wild and in captivity. At Patuxent, birds were hatched and raised by hand. Handlers careful not to let the birds imprint on them or see a human until they were adults. People can present, you know, danger to them, or they can go to people for food, or be injured by cars, vehicles, things like that. Going from 16 birds to an estimated 700 still does not mean the whooping cranes are out of danger. We probably have to get up into the uh, thousands before we're kind of comfortable with uh, the bird having been fully recovered. But more research is not needed. So the 75 cranes here will be sent to breeding programs at four zoos. They'll be flown in these crates and be gone by the end of the year. It's hard to believe so much time has gone by. Alex Dimitri, WJZ.